Here we are at our next victim. Right, Jobadiah? That's right. You ready to get on one? Mm hmm. It's been a while, ain't it? Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna kick this one right in the neck, ain't mm -hmm. we? We're gonna kick this one's neck off. It's Monday. Cloudy. Looks like it's gonna rain, it does. I know, it's not right? It's supposed to, it says. This is my brother from Canada, Jill. Yeah, if you want, you can drop the ramps. We'll go ahead and unload it. Let's uh, let's walk around back, see what we got. Can't remember. Shoot, it was uh, probably late spring when I looked at this one. Then they start looking at a bunch of them. They all run together. Can't remember them. Yeah, we can get the truck back here. You can see all our flags. Can't remember where the tank was gonna go. That tree there, we might have to cut a limb off or something. Tanks right here. A little bit of an off camber. And then we got a split bed system here. Bed there and a bed up here. We laid it out. I think the uh, tank now is right here somewhere. So we're going to have to locate that um, their outlet line. Figure out our depths on that so we can set our tank. Last time we were here, they had some miniature ponies over here. That's kind of neat. Have to go check out. I got sand coming. Go check out. I think we'll do that right here in the side yard. Make sure we'll uh, try to get the uh, quad axle to run over the fire uh, or the water. Uh, where the water comes in, the water meter. We'll make sure we run that over. Crush that on a Monday. That's what we'll do with that, but I think we'll have him just pull in, get him up here, stage him. What the heck was you doing back here, smoking a chicken bone? No, I'm trying to find you. Where oh. The, where are the tanks going? Oh, right around back there. Oh, okay. Laid up with a chicken bone in his mouth. Look at that guy. Old Jobadiah. We went out to Idaho's party this weekend, and yeah, we went on that ride, and your dad... He got up top the hill and he stopped and he's like, just sitting there hanging out for 20 minutes. I'm like, really? well, I want to go back and see where Job was because you were behind us on the trail and mm -hmm. then you were gone. I'm like, well, we lost Job. He just wants to sit there and bull crap and drink beer. Well, it's his birthday. He can do what he wants, but it took so long. Job ended up leaving, going home. Or went, we'd go camping or something, yeah, didn't I you? Yeah, I went camping. Woke up in the morning and it was raining on me. Oh, yeah, so I... I got there, I seen you about 10 minutes. Yeah. Didn't even get to give you your Red Bull, and I got back and you were gone. I was bummed. I was bummed. But I back in the trails on the new property, I had no clue where we're at. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I didn't know where we were either. There's I don't no know. Either. I don't know the new trail. the dozer. I don't know the new. Did you go up the dozer trail? Yeah. It's a pretty good one. Yeah. I was uh, bombing up it on the. I didn't get to go up any of them, and then we got back, and we had to. Do you see how he got a skid loader stuck? Yeah. Man, that was a... Was that hard getting it out? It wasn't hard, but it was sketchy. I oh, mean, really? we had some... I mean, it, it was... It was uh, like that. And he was... <laughs> probably a good thing he slid into that tree. Yeah. Gosh. I told him he's out there today. He met the guy to load the dozer up. And I said... He said, I'm staying off the hills. But yeah, tanks... Tanks... The rock tank right now is right here. So we'll have to figure... Find that outlet line. That's it. Let's go uh, get unloaded and get a game plan. Health department guy is going to be here. We're going to relay this out. I think we're actually going to do like a, a wrapped perimeter drain and outlet it on both sides of these fields just to catch anything, any water coming down. Let's get to it. Yeah, it looks like we found part of the tank here. We have to do some exploratory digging and see how this thing sets in here. That way we can figure, get a game plan. I think I'm gonna set the new one in this way, come in from the side and then out that way. I smell it, a little bit. Let's keep exploratory digging. Right, Jill? Yes, sir. 
putting the hog daddy bucket on we gotta do some major exploration And one bang them chains Job. we're gonna hook a chain up to that and pop that lid out that's joe bangs them chains So it comes in from over that side, huh? No, 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 look. Huh. What's the other one? They got a barn door on there. What is it? Oh, barn door? Yeah. What's... You never know what you'll find on these jobs, Job. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to have this tank pumped first thing in the morning so we can dig the hole is the new tanks are, are the tanks coming today no tomorrow but the tanks oh. gonna go right where this one's at pretty much so today we're just doing the gutters that's what's happening well the perimeter drain get the tank oh, ready okay. and then uh lay it all out and get get a good game plan for tomorrow start the fields tomorrow set the tanks Get them pumped. A lot going on. Well, they got a 90 going towards the house? Where is that? Looks like, like a 45. I didn't Just hit it, did I? Oh, no. no, you're good. Fuck, if you put it over there, you probably get it to just bend over. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can come straight. Come straight through. And then come into the uh, end here. Let me take another swipe this yeah. way. Sounds like I grabbed a clean hand. Oh, I didn't bust the pipe there. No, no. Some other pipe. Oh, that's probably maybe gutter. You always know when you hear that pop. I don't know what the heck that is gutter right there with the pipe yeah it's a gutter pipe we can fix it we can fix it yes we can Job can fix it that's what he's good at he's a pump. I don't know what kind of pipe this is though that's 35 no look at the inside of it it's flat no, it's just it's from just the, the leaves and stuff. Oh, okay. oh yes yeah, no. come on Job I know it's I Monday, but man, how much bone did you have this I weekend? I thought it was that kind of uh, pipe that we used for the cleanup or the inspection pipe that one time. Yeah, gutter pipe. Yeah, and we couldn't find the right type yeah, we'll of clean out clean out lid. Big John, what are you thinking? Happy Morning. Monday. Yeah. What are you thinking? Well, I think that was the only thing we had to work out was that bottom bed and then how to position this tank and pipe the beds. Mm-hmm. We were still a little uncertain about that, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's why we're going to do a good layout today. Yeah. That's right. But I'm thinking tank right here beside it, come in, and then we'll just go out to what we need. Yeah. Yeah, if you route your piping over that way, you'll have more cover over this tank. Yeah, we'll have to lay all that out, see how it's going to work. Yeah, it, well, it's a split, so it's yeah. a little tricky on how to position your yeah. delivery lines and box yeah. and all that. The hit is a gutter down. You hear the crunch, you know something happened. All right, Job? Yeah. It's the worst. Are you know. 
John's posted up. He made himself a little office here. <laughs> That's right. I'll tell you what. This guy goes above and beyond. I'm quick. I'm quick to adapt. <laughs> we have a good time, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Got us coffee. That's right. <laughs> John Grace here. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? Help the farmer guy. Help you. <laughs> Oh man. So we decided we're just gonna set our tank here right beside it. We'll get the tank truck around this way. He's probably gonna, when he pulls around here, roll his truck over the hill or something. Interesting. I'm sure. Don't you think, John? When he pulls around the side of here, he's probably roll his truck over the hill. Who is it? I said the tank guy. When he pulls around, he might roll his truck over the hill. Yeah. Yeah. How you gonna use that? Yeah, that tree's that tree's gonna be a thing of the past here in the next 24 hours. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Call Paul Ziegler see if he can come chop it down. Yeah. We need to. Shit. We, we need the bucket truck. We'll take that motherfucker out and run skate. Oh, we'll get it. Get the bucket truck here. Yep. So yeah, we're gonna dig this hole right beside this one. All fun and games until somebody flips a truck. He's gonna flip his truck and be super mad that he can't leave. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> if it, if the, this guy, when he's here, if he's here past 10 minutes, like the first 10 minutes, he's great. Yeah. Minute 11, watch out, he's like the Incredible Hawk. Yeah. <laughs> John's going in the garage here, gonna get him some supplies, I guess. That's why we found all those Matchbox cars when we was digging. Oh, we found some? Yeah, look, there's two of them over here. Oh, I didn't see that. We got Matchboxes in here? Yeah, look at them all up on the oh my gosh. Hot wheels or something. Hot wheels. Oh. Were you looking for the outlet or something? Yeah, I was yeah. trying to see if you had clean out or something. You might want to give him a clean out. I don't know if you got one in here. Looks like a fallen before. Oh, wow. Low rider truck. Oh, man. I'm not thinking it's another house. What's that? Looks like the tank was leaking. Feel that nasty nastiness it was coming from somewhere probably that black spot right there right there yeah right there and running down there's what the hole turned out like got a little crumbs here we're gonna I can't shoot the uh, I can't shoot this and get make sure my height's right or depth's right they're down there laying that field out so what we got to do we have to this gutter pipe here is outletting down there and putting a bunch of water on the field so what we have to do well what i'm gonna do and we are gonna do i guess we're gonna when, let me show you down here so this is gonna be a bed right here split bed gonna come out of the box to a D box, feed this one, then it's gonna go down and feed this one. So this is pretty much bad slope, horrible soil, bad conditions. But you can see he has nowhere else to put a septic. So when that happens, you know what they do? They call the closer. I come in and get them done. So we're gonna put an upslope drain here above this one and outlet it it's gonna kind of be like a horseshoe drain outlet it on both sides then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna tie these gutters in because right now it's right there and it's dropping all this water onto the field so we're gonna tie them in drop them down into this and then come around this field with an outlet and then come between the two fields with an outlet that way just as steep as this is and then I'm gonna run sand all the way to the top no topsoil steep as this is just let that water go into that and drain out you with uh poor soils and as shallow this bed's only six inches deep 
all the shedding water you want to hit that and get away from that bed getting her laid out yeah we're getting pretty close we got our distance got between the these two yep for the drain see john i think that pink flag there was our outlet for this john i think that pink flag there was our outlet for the drain for that one so i think we'll be able to outlet it should be able to wasn't that your bed i think that's your bag Kevin. That right there? No, I think that's a drain outlet. Well, it's the same as these. Oh, well, possibly. Yeah, I guess it is. It doesn't look like it, but. Yeah, yeah, horseshoes up. This should be the same. Yeah, it is. My bad. Check, see if the miniature ponies are home. Ponies! Last time we were here, they were coming up a fence. They wanted petted. They were chasing each other. There's three of them. Huh. They're not out and about today. Nope. Man, that's bummer. Just chilling in there, little barn. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Customer asked if I would take the stuff out. Of course I will. Like that. Oh yeah, three years. Got our restaurant set up here. Everybody's taking some lunch. Then we're gonna get on these uh perimeter drains. You got operators that can got everything laid out, ready to get it. Yeah, I start, started out as an operator. Heck, Joe, you, know, you could have brought uh you could have brought Edward, put oh, him right yeah. here. Oh, I'd be all over it. He'd have climbed out that. He'd have climbed out that in two seconds. Yeah. I threw Jill on the mini, let him dig, and then I'm gonna go uh Got our sand here. There he is. Main guy right there. <clears throat> What'd you have, fish or, uh, do you have fish or shrimp? Fish and chicken. You had fish and chicken? Yep. They said they seen you at uh, Long John Silver's. Oh, yeah. Well, where do you think we can tear the yard up the most? Right back in here? Let's do it. There's the water. No, there, you know there ain't no sewer because I'm putting a septic in. Maybe, uh, can you scoot it over that way just the hair and stay away from the barn? Perfect. I think we got three more coming. So I think I'll probably use the sand. We're, we're really tight on dirt on this one. So I think I'm gonna use the sand for that. And then, uh, all sand and all these might have a little bit too much but that's all right it'd be about 88 tons jill's hammering away man that'd be nice if i had an operator like that i could always just let him dig and i just go have tacos with the uh, idaho You can tell where that uh, drain's got to be because 
right where we're putting in a drain is that shelf rock rock layer we're just right on top of it you can see the rocks there and you can see his, you can hear us hitting it that's right where the water's gonna lay so that's right where we gotta get this drain see that rock down there It's good, just flat bottom it. Oh, really? What is it? Oh, it's limestone in soil? Yeah, that's why yeah. it's so nasty soil. Yeah. Oh, it's bad soil. It's got about eight inches of cover. That's about it. Yeah. That yellow? What's that mean? It's from soil clay. The bomb has officially went off. Let's get a view from up here. You can kind of see everything. We got our beds laid out and I'm digging drains now. This is upslope for the first one. Upslope center drain for the second one. And then we found over here. We got, this was out. The gutter was broke right here and outletting and it's putting too much water on top of the surface. So we're going to tie that back in, get it down into its ditch, and then same ditch as this, this will just be solid, and then outlet it on around. Got this humongous stump right in the way. <coughs> That's why we went that way with this one. I actually might have to hook that gutter drain on and just outlet it over here, because it's so, I don't think I'm going to dig through it. Pretty bad. We'll get it though, I can guarantee you that. Here's the drain for this one. I'm gonna start digging it out that way. Here's where that gutter drain came out here. It's gonna be dead. Dead now. We'll whip in shape come about Wednesday. We packing our stuff up and get out here Wednesday. It's Monday. Getting a good jump on it. Here's where we're at. We had to, uh, our drain line, we had to keep it. There's the end of our bed. We had to keep it 46 inches deep here to get all the groundwater coming up here. Now from here, we're pretty much gonna dig level I think we're going to come out right about that fence. Let's go check it, Jill. See how Job did his corner here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All this sand is going to suck some water. Let's see where it comes out down here. See if John was right. They are? Yeah, oh, are. many guys. Look, they finally came out, guys. Look. There's the other two back here in this corner. Many black stuff. Come here. Last time they were running, chasing each other. Really? Oh, look at all the flies on its eyes. That's gross. Yeah. I need to get a couple of them for sis. I know they're cool. Right there? Yep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come here. Oh, look, there's one right there. I'm going to dig my way this way. Then we'll meet it. What's up, guys? You guys are cute. Look at you little guys. I think sis needs one of them for sure. And that's it. Putting up a putting up a fence. Getting some mini horses. Give her some responsibilities. She's already got a wild rabbit. She's uh 
the nurse back to life. That meow tried killing. Tell you what, for Monday we got a lot done. Normally on Mondays I just uh, I haul the sand and kind of prep it, lay things out. But this one is a lot further from my house, so I had Huber haul the sand, which that's better off that way anyway. That way it gives me all day Monday. They get some work done. Got the hole dug for the tank. They see that the tank's leaking. Oh yeah. Got the uh, upslope drains in. Gonna tie this gutter into that. So yeah, we got a lot done. These drains, I tell you what, that's probably the worst part of this field is the drains. That's the most time consuming. Seems like it, they wear you out. It's like you, you get the bed in and all that and you're like, oh yeah, yeah. And it's like, ah. Oh. Got to dig in the gut, dig in the slope, up slope drains. A lot of times we just bring the trencher and do it. That makes it a lot easier. But these ones in the backyard, it just isn't worth it. Yeah, the trencher Plus, wouldn't have handled it very well. Nah, not all with this. Hills. Not when it's all hilly and stuff like that. It's hard to keep that beak at a. Would have been good dirt for it though. Yeah, some it wasn't rock. too some rocky, but um, when it's got drop offs and stuff like that, that beak likes to. Do this and that. Well, that's it, Jill. What'd you think about working in America? Mm, not bad, man. First day on the job on a Northwest excavating. <laughs> he said, F Canada, I'm going to Texas and starting a new business. Pretty smart guy. That's right. Well, that's it for this one. We're going to cut into a couple pieces. Give us one of these. Do what uh, Job says. Oh, uh, well, Idaho says gong the bell. Oh, that's so, that's so 2000. Late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, let's tell them one of these and yeah. do some subscribes. Oh, yeah, hit that subscribe button. Bust that subscribe button. Chop it in the neck. Mm. Neck chop the subscribe button. We're out of here. We're going to go see, uh, go see what old Ed's doing. Right, Jill? Yeah, he'll be probably be driving everyone nuts. I want to go see what Ed's doing before he heads on his way to Tennessee. They're going down to uh, Nashville, then to Texas. Let's gather everything up. We'll go see what Ed's got to say. Late. There's load three of sand. So much nicer when I don't have to drive drive it. One good thing about the window being busted out, makes it easy to uh, accommodate your grade rod and load other things. Well, we're back home. With, what are you doing, Ed? Um, well, that's a good shirt you got there. Army guy. You're playing Army guys, and what else are you doing? Um, I'm this. Let me see your shirt. You're a mover and shaker. Hold still. I can't see it. You're making me dizzy, Ed. So tell me what you were doing. I was playing army guy. Right, well, show uh, show me your army guy. Oh, it's they're in the camper. You got it in your hand. No, uh, That's an army guy. He's got binoculars. Yeah, but I'm gonna show you the the olive day. Okay. Show me. I'll show me them all. Oh, cool. I'll tell YouTube hi, Ed. Uh, we got more army guys, and the other ones are lost, so we got new ones. There's a Wait, little. You got army guys? Ed did. Where? He's got one in his hand. Yeah. Oh, like where at? I don't know. I said. I. Uh, they're in the camper. All of them are in the. Temper and for the hot cheetah. I'm no. gonna, I'm gonna show you. See, I told you Ed's wide open. We'll see you guys tomorrow, right, Ed? Mm. Tell, say, see you tomorrow. Like and subscribe too. See you tomorrow. Well, I was fucking. We are gonna. I thought we could stay here. Say, see you tomorrow, guys. Ed says, see you tomorrow. He's a mover and shaker. But she...